little video is here to show you what we're looking for in the graphic organizer for your essay. As I mentioned, you have to read the article and you can see the pages in the module. But um, your goal for this is not to give your opinions in these first four paragraphs of the argument. Your goal is to analyze how this author created her argument for this topic, okay? So the article title is dealing with tipping in restaurants, as you can see that. Um, but she makes a specific argument about tipping in restaurants, okay? So you would have to figure out what that is and then use this graphic organizer to prepare your essay, okay? So first of all, quickly, there's a difference between topic and position when it comes to your essays, okay? The position is the should or should not statement, okay? In an argumentative essay, somebody's going to tell you that you should do something or we need to do something or something should not be happening, whatever it is. Those words are going to be used. Well, that's their position on the topic, okay? The topic is what it's about in general. So let's say, for example, I wanted to argue that school should start later in the day. That would be my position. The topic is school starting time, okay? Notice that there's no should or should not there. Other people might have different opinions about when school should start, but if I took this, the topic school starting time, then I might take the position that school should start later in the day. Make sense? So you have to figure out what it is that our author is arguing. That's what you're going to put in the position argument part. Once you have the overall argument that she's going to be doing, then you get to your reasons. The first reason is going to be her first why. And I notice I put a general why that can be supported. And that's because over in these boxes on the far right, these rectangular boxes next to the word feed, that's when you're going to give a specific information, that feed information. And if you remember, feed means facts or feelings, examples, explanation, details, all the items that can support the why, okay? So if, for example, I was, the article was about starting school later, you know, the school should start later, my first why might be something like students biologically, uh, you know, teenagers biologically are designed to work better by sleeping in a little bit more, okay? That is a real thing, by the way. Um, so if I'm going to argue that, then I can give all of these different items over here that supports that why, okay? I can talk about how teenagers' serotonin levels are different later in the day, or is it melatonin? I think melatonin deals with skin. Let's go with serotonin. So the serotonin levels are adjusted different at the teenage level. They, you, they take longer in the evenings before it starts kicking in, before you start getting tired, and they take longer in the mornings before they disappear, okay? Then I can talk about other biological things with students as well, okay, and just keep working my way down through. When I get to the second reason, this is why else, and notice I underlined the word different, a different why. The reason why I put that there is because a lot of folks have a tendency to blend their reasoning together. They just seem to have one long reasoning all the way through their essay, one long um, supporting point. But you want multiple supporting points to support your argument, okay? So with the school starting later thing, if that were the essay, um, I already talked about the biology of teenagers up here. Maybe down here I could talk about something completely different, like how it could benefit the school, all right? Um, and then when I get to the feed, I can talk about how, well, rested students would score better on tests and attendance would be better and people would be more focused in class, okay? All of that type of thing. So that would help support this different reason Notice on the third box down here, instead of saying third reason, I have other side, okay? And as you're aware, in arguments, sometimes it's a good idea to mention, well, here's something that somebody might say against me. They give an opposing view. And then once you do that, you shoot it right down, okay? So the opposition 
is what you'll give and then shoot it down with a third Y, okay? What might somebody argue against you, okay? Um, inside the article that you're reading that you're going to analyze, you would talk about how she mentions something that people might say against her and what does she say about that, okay? That's what you're going to put in this third one. If it were an article, once again, about school starting later, I might say something like, um, people would be concerned about extracurricular activities. You know, uh, if we're still in school while other schools are finishing up. Well, what I might say is this is, should be a universal thing where all schools push things back. And instead of starting games at 345, they can start at 445 or whatever it might be. Okay? So once you have all of that, you have your three supporting points with the opposition that you shoot down with the third point. Then you start giving all that support, okay? Now, I don't expect you to write complete sentences into these last boxes over there. You can bullet point it, whatever it might be. If I was talking about serotonin up here, I might just put serotonin, okay? And that's gonna remind me, oh yeah, in my paragraph, I'm going to want to write about those levels in teenagers that are different from maybe adults or small children. Okay? If you have any questions, please ask me as soon as you can. It can be email or hopefully in person. Thank you.